We are closing in on one year since the Andover tornado. As you may remember, that hit Prairie Creek Elementary School. It caused a lot of damage to large portions of the building. Today, Senator Jerry Moran announced two federal investments to help Andover with their recovery. Max Dutton now joining us live from Prairie Creek to explain how it could impact that community. Max. Well, Michael, it's going to be a $585,000 impact to put things into perspective. Right now, I want to focus on some of the progress that's already been made. You can see right behind me, I'm on the northwest corner of Prairie Creek Elementary School, and this is where the brunt of the damage took place. But now, just one year later after that tornado, it looks like a brand new school. 2022, just one day after the tornado, Senator Jerry Moran was in Andover to see the damage. One year later, two federal grants that he pushed will help the community rebuild. We saw an opportunity to try to be helpful. We started looking for ways that we might be able to, to maybe not just speed the recovery, but help pay for some of the recovery. $200,000 will be headed towards Prairie Creek Elementary School, which had parts of their building destroyed in the tornado. We started school here at the building, which we're really grateful for, and we didn't have everything. Well, we've been getting stuff throughout the year. One of the hardest hit parts was the cafeteria, which is seen in this video. The front windows were blown out and most of the interior was damaged. And now, just one year later, the cafeteria looks completely different. The art room was also damaged, but if you walked in today, you would never know. It's coming back and kids have been having art class all year here. The money from the grant will partially be used to purchase 40 clear touch boards, which were lost in the tornado. It's one of the final items Prairie Creek needs to get back to normal. It's a time in which Kansans in difficult uh, circumstances pull together to make sure that everybody's just a little bit better off than they otherwise would have been. Well, it's also important to note that $385,000 will be going towards the Andover Police Department to help enhance their 911 system, and they say that's going to make their response time to calls even quicker. Reporting live in Andover, Max Dutton, 12 News.